Hey guys, I'm Kayleen and I'm here with Allison and we're going to talk about this new brand of South Korean Pilates equipment, which Allison stumbled across. Um, because like she said, it's not very often that we get to review like brand new Pilates equipment and this stuff looks kind of interesting. So we thought we'd walk you through um, kind of what we're looking at and what we think about it uh, as we go through. So Allison, you want to share how you um, found this as I share my screen? Oh yeah, it randomly popped up in my like news feed um, because apparently my phone knows that I love Pilates. Um, and I, I'm very intrigued by this concept because, and I think you and I have had these conferences before where it's, I, I like to think about how different design movements influence the way equipment looks. So there's certainly nothing wrong with the way equipment looks now. Like it's, it's, it's fine, it's functional, but this is definitely a, a step and like, I mean, imagine having this in your living room, right? It, it's, it's like pushing, I think, I think this is what good design does where it pushes the boundaries of like the, the equipment, right? So we have the function of equipment and they're just playing with the form at this point. So yeah, I mean, look at it. Look at that. Is that millennial pink? I think that's millennial pink. The tr Google Translate says it's skin, so maybe it's okay. nude or mauve or we don't know what the English, you know, equivalent would be. But yeah, I think we should just go with millennial pink. Millennial it's it's a it's a. Have you ever heard that term? No, I've never heard that term. Oh, okay. This is like a this is a moment. Alice, um, it's a. You need to know that I often have to look up acronyms that you send me. Just so okay. All right. So, <laughs> so I think millennial pink is like, I don't know if you could technically call it a zeitgeist, but it had like a moment. Um, it's like, it, millennial pink is like, this was, a, I think, a few years ago, but it still feels very current. Yeah, there you go. It's like, it's a, there's been news articles about millennial pink. I think gray is the new millennial pink though. <laughs> All right. This looks like, a, this looks like a so look at that. Yeah. Anyway, so can we, I mean, it says it's a soft pink. So I, I, will, I will absolutely say that that looks like millennial pink. I think it's millennial pink. Yeah. Oh, you know, should we talk about why we might be qualified to <laughs> comment on this stuff? <laughs> yes, let's do that. Let's do that. So, uh, you, you first. I I am Kayleen Canaveri. I'm the owner of the Fit Reformer, which is a Pilates equipment maintenance company. I've been traveling the country working on Pilates equipment of all models traveling the U.S., mind you, working on equipment of all models for about five years now. Um, and before that, I worked at um, a major Pilates equipment manufacturer as an engineer. Um, so I'm an engineer, and I'm also a comprehensively trained Pilates instructor. So I've been, I've got my hands on a lot of equipment. Allison, give me your uh so I too am a Pilates instructor and actually Kayleen trained me to be like, you know, this wonderful safe performer technician. Um, but I'm also kind of a design snob and I don't know where it came from. Um, I think my mom would say something about champagne tastes on a beer budget. Um, I, I don't, I don't know. I think I think I just like nice looking things like I <laughs> you know, like there's nothing wrong with that um but I've also just reading kind of about the history of Pilates and then just knowing about kind of the home cooked equipment right and how equipment 
a little bit about how equipment gets made, but I'm learning more. Um, I think it's, I think this is one of those opportunities where people can be inspired by seeing interesting design, which is, I mean, it certainly inspired me. So I don't know, that was a little tangenty, sorry. <laughs> well, that's okay. I think we, as instructors, get, um, we get used to seeing the same, just like very minor differences between vastly, you know, different companies, right? So very so, minor differences between equipment that is made by different companies. So it all well, kind of think, looks the same, right? Yeah, I think you and I actually, as a, so I think people who, maybe even more so than instructors, I think when you do kind of the equipment technician aspect, you see and you notice these differences more often maybe than someone who's like, well, I was trained on this equipment, so this is the equipment I use. But also you kind of learn how irrelevant in some ways those <laughs> features are like, and I'm not saying, you know, I'm not saying this negatively about anyone, but it's like you, you begin, I think, the more you look at equipment in a, in a way where you're repairing it, you're like, oh, I've got this squeaky wheel or whatever. I think you begin to look at it in different ways than just like, well, this is what I was trained on. These are the springs I'm comfortable with. So this is what I use. Like, you know, like, especially I think if you think about the first reformer or if you, if you look at some of the, um, and I've only had this opportunity once, if you look at some of the um, smaller classical equipment, like like not smaller as in physically, but like maybe less of a distribution range of classical equipment, you kind of see like the home cookedness of it all. And you're like, you st I think you really start to think like what's possible and what's not possible. And that's what I like about this line. I don't know how, to I don't know. I have no idea how to pronounce this. Like fun v. I don't know. What would your guess be? Call it fun v. Fun v. Okay, that works for know. me. I don't know how to say it. It might be like. I mean, it might be fun v, but that sounds really awkward. So we'll just we'll just refer. Let's just go with fun v. That's. <laughs> Let's do it. Yeah, I, um, I think building just a comment before we move on, Allison, I think, you know, bringing the tech aspect into it, we're taught that exercises as teachers should feel a certain way, right? We want a client to feel a certain something. And in order to do that, here's the settings that you use on the reformer. And then as you get into becoming a tech, um, you start to see why that feeling might happen what about the equipment makes that feeling happen and honestly you start to see the actually even though it's the same equipment if someone doesn't maintain it you start to see that there's actually a pretty big difference um, and you and i have talked a lot about making the equipment work for the body and not mm -hmm. vice versa and so i think i saw somewhere on this website um, that they've adjusted some of the dimensions to fit Asian bodies, which I find oh. really interesting. I find that, really interesting, yeah. Because I think, you know, they know their target market. They don't want this big giant equipment for their smaller bodies. And so they've done something about it and they've made it look pretty. So um, anyway, that's a circuitous that's to say, the tech stuff really opens your eyes. Well, that's actually really, so when you talk about the feeling, mm -hmm. so much of the feeling, and I don't, people might not realize this, right, but so much of the feeling comes from, like, the, the design, right, like, the, so when I look at the aesthetics of this equipment, I think this might be the one place where I'm like, aesthetics and Pilates go hand in hand, <laughs> right? So when you look at this equipment, or when I look at this equipment, it looks approachable. And we see this with some larger manufacturers, um, where they will have what I will call a very Instagrammable, approachable reformer, versus like a reformer that just kind of gets the job 
done you and we might know what I'm talking about but I, I think that I think that to me this looks approachable and I do find it absolutely fascinating that they've and like again we don't speak Korean so this is all just like Google Translate <laughs> mostly um I think it's very interesting that they've tinkered with the dimensions of the equipment which dimensions of equipment again things we've talked about with out losing the Pilatesness, which is a word I've just created. So they've not lost the Pilatesness of it all. Like if you walk, so if I walked into a studio in South Korea and I saw this equipment, I would immediately be like, reformer, reformer barrel chair, right? Like you you know what you're looking at, but I just find the I find the design beautiful. Um the and I, I guess we can go into this as we get into the different pieces of equipment. So I don't, I don't know. It, to me, it, it evokes a, this evokes a feeling. Yes. The only thing I don't like is this, the um, springboard. Like that, I will say I'm not a fan of that, the but spring, let's look at it. was interesting. Let's start with the reformer. Yeah. The bread and butter of Pilates. Right. All right. I'm going to navigate there. So I, okay. at first, like before I got into this, I was like, Ugh, this is only in pink, but it looks like they actually have three colors, right? Yes. Neil pink, silver. silver, and black. So that makes yeah. sense. Um, and I think the, the fact that it's all kind of the same color is really good. I mean, I think it makes it look um, more whole, if that makes sense. More continuous. It, it makes it look finished. Yeah. Um, it makes it so we've seen this, I think we, like I'm a designer. I don't, I'm not a designer, but like, <laughs> I think if you look at design theory, it is the way the eye follows the lines of the equipment. And there's really very few unbroken lines of other colors. When you look at, so when you look at some reformers where you have like this material and then this material and they're all separate materials and then what you see is this kind of like cool. your eye doesn't know where to focus yes. and so what I like about this is that like when you look at the curves of this reformer your your eye just follows it along it's a very I think it's beautiful yes yeah I I think it's pretty pleasing to the eye uh, I think it's pretty simple um, I think the Allegro 2 has um, kind of falls in this category as far as the, um, the design aspect of kind of a easy to follow, continual color, easy on the eyes kind of thing. Um, one of the things you and I talked about was this really interesting rail, right? This bar that goes up and over. Yeah, I want to get on this and try some of these things where you put your hands on the rail. I, I, oh. I, I want to try it so bad. Reverse, I, I, depending on where you're trained, I believe it's called reverse kneeling abs, right? Um, where you're facing, yes. you are facing the head end of the reformer. Um, your knees are generally sometimes up against the shoulder blocks, but on different reformers, you have a very different feel. So for example, on my reformer, I don't necessarily enjoy that exercise, or I don't enjoy being in quadruped too long with my hands on the rails because it's not a pleasant feeling. And I can imagine with this, it, I mean, ultimately it's gonna depend on the width of the rail, right? Um, not the reformer, not the carriage <laughs> wheel rails, but like the hand, we'll call it the handrail, yeah. I guess for lack of a better term. But I imagine it feels nice. Yeah. I also, I really have a thing for matte finishes, like high-end luxury stuff like face lotions, or I got this new toothpaste, the bottle's really soft to the touch. I, it just makes me feel amazing. And that's what, that's the, that's the feeling I get with this matte finish, um, is like, I want to touch it. I'm a very tactile like person. Warm, right? Like, yeah, it, yeah. It, it, versus like a chrome. Yep. Yeah, that actually makes perfect sense. I can actually, when you said that, I can kind of feel what that would feel like. Um, yeah. yeah. 
I'm into, I'm into it. So I think there were some photos actually of the model using the rails. Let's see. I'm hoping we can find it. Oh yeah, maybe. Yeah. So see, she's doing, well, I mean, not in reverse kneeling abs, but she's doing some stretching. Oh, that's really interesting. The TheraBand thing. I didn't even think about that. You, oh, Allison. Are you getting ideas? I am looking at the sitting box. Look at the bottom of it. I oh, want to know more. You know one of my pet peeves is, is upholstered sitting box corners getting ruined. Well, Why yeah. Well, it's have a black streak at the bottom. There's got to be some reason for that. So the good news is there's a props page. So, oh, look at how the headrest adjusts. That to me, that's interesting. Yeah. Is it's it only like a beach chair? Like, you know, those beach chairs where you put the head, the, yeah. the bar in, yeah. When, and then you're trying to relax and then you're like, I want to lift this up. And you're like, ah, yeah. yeah. I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of these angled headrests. Yeah. Just, I don't think they fit very many people very well. But. No, me and my short little vertebra prefer just a cushion. <laughs> look at my, my short neck. Oh, do you know, this is, the more we look at it, actually, it's, it is adjustable, but this, see, to me, this is like calling home the, um, you already said it once, so I'll say it again, the Allegro 2. Mm -hmm. Like, this is like a call, to me, this is very similar. Mm -hmm. The foot strap placement, or the safety strap placement. You see this white line right here in the middle? I want to know what that is. Is that oh. just like center? So you like know where your center is? How interesting. You know, older, that might, older you know, body machines have a zip tie around the center. I don't know why. Maybe we can. I don't know if my face is recording with this, <laughs> with this live video, <laughs> but I, I grimaced. So in case this just ends up being like a podcast or something, like I guess it wouldn't work because it's a visual medium. Oh, interesting. Hmm. I like the carriage. There's something about that I really like. Does it seem, I mean, it could be lower to the ground, though. We wouldn't know. We'll have to look at dimensions. From proportions, I'd say it's probably around 14 inches, but I don't know. I do like the carriage, too. The carriage is very clean. Again, like the like the Allegro 2 carriage. Yeah, see, I, I want to Oh, the shoulder it. blocks pop off. Yeah. Oh, oh, the shoulder blocks. Look how they, do you think they pop off like an A2? Probably. Or, or is this legal? Or Please. Are just on the outside of them? Yeah, I don't know. Please don't sue us. We'll never know. <laughs> um, hmm. Oh, I did see there was a making of video somewhere on this website. Oh, we'll have to watch that. Yes. So, you know, nothing, I don't think anything is really revolutionary about how this machine works. I do think it's pretty. And I do think they've made some incremental adjustments to it that are neat, right? Um, I think the design is so I don't yeah like I don't think it's the you're right like I don't think it's I don't think the feel of this reformer I think it's going to feel like many other reformers but what, what's intriguing to me is the design like those tweaks they have a lot oh here we go here that's pretty awesome wonder if they have a weight limit oh sorry <laughs> was that inappropriate <laughs> Korean and wants to look at this web page for us. Would love is this help. is this not Chrome? What's your browser? It is Chrome, and it's all, but you can see right? that it translates some of it, but not all of it. Oh no, no, I don't. Think, did you did you click translate to, yeah. from Korean to English? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, you're right. That's weird. I think okay. it's giving us us enough info. All right, so anything else we want to touch on on the reformer? I see there's feet. 
one of the things I, I wonder if this yeah. want to do is have interchangeable feet so you can either make them sticky or make them slippery. So you know how sometimes with like IKEA furniture, that's just the furniture I'm defaulting to. They have like the adjustable feet or if the floor isn't quite even. Mm -hmm. I wonder if those are similar to that. But I don't I don't know how sturdy those would be, but that would be kind of cool. That's that would be a cool feature. I bet they don't have that on on this reformer because you can see mm, your angles. Probably not. Yeah. I, I think you could do it, but I bet that they don't. But that that would solve a lot of problems, as you know, in our industry. <laughs> we have yeah. lots of crooked floors. Okay, let's go to um, the chair. What do you think about that? Do you want to look at the box? Yes. First. So let's well, look at the box since we brought that up. We were segging from the box immediately to the, or from the reformer immediately to the box, to the box. Oh, what's it? It said it prevents slipping. Scroll down a little. There we are up. Slip pad or non-slip. So there's a so the lower part of the box prevents slipping when exercising. Interesting. Oh, that's, that's clever. Hopefully it's, oh. I want to see like an Can under get... an inside. Yeah, box. I'm like, I know it's like flip the box. Let me see. Okay, so this is just the same. Oh, here we. Oh, here we go. Yeah, so this looks like that that... that foot bar vinyl, right? I wonder if that's stitched on or if it's just like. It I mean, looks... it looks stitched because if looks... you look at that corner. Yeah, it looks stitched to me. This is ultra luxe. Well, I mean, have you ever picked up a box and then, like, the nylon webbing is cut into your hand and you're just like, ugh. No, I just me? honestly, okay. I can't say I have. Okay. Have just me. <laughs> I don't know. Like, It doesn't mean it doesn't happen. I, I've, I, I don't know. I've never I imagine it just feels more comfortable. Absolutely. It's really interesting. Okay. Millimeters. Let's see. Quick. I wonder if we can suss out the size of the reformer carriage based on the box dimensions. Okay, so hang on, let's see. I think the reformer carriage is around 600 millimeters, though, because when you look at, so I think the carriage is the same, we'd have to look at the reformer again, but I think it's the same width as the frame. 71 centimeters. So it's 30 inches wide. Wait, the box? The box is 30 inches wide, 16 uh, and a half deep. And no, I think I have. So if it's millimeters, I have the boxes 15 inches wide. My family. I don't know. I'm using a, I'm using a calculator. Are you using? I'm doing I'm doing it. I'm doing the Google, oh. like the Google search engine calculator. Twenty eight. That's because I was rounding up the conversion rate. That's probably why. Oh. Yeah. So it's twenty eight so, inches long. Okay. So I think the so I think the reformer. Our carriage itself might be 23 and a half ish inches wide and then we're talking we're I'm like we're getting too boring we're getting too much into <laughs> dimensions it's a pretty standard size box I mean yeah it's not much small all right in fact it's bigger than a classical box we'll, we'll say that but it's not much smaller than like a standard contemporary box yeah what I'm like so I think the carriage might be just maybe it's is there like a top on view oh wait can you go back to her head laying on the reformer okay so I'm gonna guess that this carriage is probably just looking at it I'm gonna guess this carriage so the whole reformer itself I think is 600 millimeters wide which is 23.6 inches. Oh, 655. Okay, so 
that is tw okay so that's 20 that's let's just round up let's just call that 26 inches so maybe the carriage is about 24 inches yeah i mean again it really depends on how thick those tubes are uh, yeah the rails yeah. the carriage is about 23 and a half that's my that's my guess that's i mean compared to some american reformers that's like a friggin luxury like you're swimming on that like Scrooge McDuck swimming in his gold coins. Okay. So what else can we see here? We can see five springs. We can see it looks like the spring bar slides. Think oh, I think the spring bar is actually more like the classical, like a classical spring bar. Um, I wonder, we don't see a lot we'll of have to, we'll after the spring bar, it's kind of ugly, that's probably why. <laughs> the ugliest part of this reformer. <laughs> it is. Okay. It is. I mean, whatever, take one. <laughs> so if something's got to be ugly, it might as well be a spring bar. Yeah, you don't see it. Yeah, I don't know. I okay. can't really tell. It does look like there may be some gears here. That it sits in. So yeah, it might be just like a more like a classical gear bar or gear situation. Yeah. I think there's yeah. I think it's a classical gear bar. Interesting. All right, so what next? Chair or ladder barrel? Chair. Okay. I'm chair. I'm so excited for this chair. I really want to make I love chair workouts. Do you, okay. I do, but I, there are so many things that I would like to change about chairs. Oh, they got two cactuses, two cacti. Wait, hold, hold up. Is this just a men, like, I can't tell. I think it's just the angle of the photo playing with me. Okay, so they have two, what do they say? Are you, re are you reading this? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. I mean, some of this is just not a great translation. I think we have to scroll down to specs. Oh, so cost, I think the reformer was like 2500 Yes, it was. Um, this would be half of that. Yeah, roughly, yeah. So, 1200 $1, I mean, that's, this, I have to say, this seems <laughs> pretty yeah, so I'm not sure if this is, um, so I'm not, it's not clear to me. So you know how we have that distinction between home use and professional use? It's not clear to me if this is professional use, but I'd imagine it is. I have a, I feel like I should ask my friend who um, is Korean and back in Korea, I should ask her actually, if there's, you know, if there's like that distinction there. Yeah, I'd be interested. No, that's a really good point. Wait, what's that? No oh, what's that knob on the side? Is that how they? Oh, that's how they adjust the chair arm height. Yeah. Well, that's a really. Oh. It's very hidden, right? Oh, very that's hidden. freaking gorgeous. Yeah. That actually makes mind blown. So much sense has been made. <laughs> got some built-in wheels back there. I mean, it looks pretty light too, right? There's not a whole lot down here or on the side that is yes. causing it to be super heavy. So I would be, four yeah. Four positions for the spring. So two My springs. Here is that this design is so noisy. I, that chairs are so flipping noisy it drives is this insane. do you prefer like the air i don't know what to call like the what are they called i'm a terrible technician so then the buttons like the knobby buttons on on more classical equipment you prefer those oh yeah because they're round yep um yep. i would legitimately be so excited if the next time we could all gather for a PMA conference, if this company showed up. And I mean, th that to me would be phenomenal because like, I understand maybe the American market isn't something they are trying for, but like, we can you, know. I wanna like, look, 
<laughs> let's when we can let's fly to Korea. <laughs> like we can call it market research. <laughs> Tax write off. Just kidding, government. Um, Do they need an American distributor? <laughs> so the fact that it's I find the welding very interesting. And I'm trying to think about other, so it's like, really, how, so it's really interesting if you think about how this stuff is made. Welding is a really good way to make low volume stuff because you don't have to build a mold. You have, you, you build jigs and things, right? To, to make everything line up the same, but you don't have to pay to get a mold made. So theoretically, this is, Oh, it has four springs. Yeah, theoretically. The other views made it look like two. No. Two. Did you not see the spring rest holder? Oh, it was so well, nice. I wasn't sure. Like, nice. I was not clear on the angle, though. You know what I mean? Like, I wasn't, I didn't know what I was seeing. Okay. Yeah. I've got to get on one of these bad boys or ladies. I don't know. <laughs> what, like, one of these. I, I want to try one. Okay. okay. All right. So let's go. I mean, on. I mean, I let's do the Cadillac or whoops. let's do the ladder barrel next because I feel like the Cadillac for me is contentious. Okay. Um, I just want to point out here it says professional after all these. Things. Oh, that you're right. Google Translate, you know, was doing, but maybe that's a just question. to be clear though, there's a home use Pilates manufacturer that includes the word. Pro. Oh, this in, is true. This is true. Yeah, this so true. we don't know. So this this ladder barrel is also pretty. Look at all the what runs. Is that? There's so many runs, and they're all padded. Oh my god, my. How many? That. I only have four rungs. Interesting. Okay, so this padded. is. I really, I really hate that rungs aren't padded. This is great. So current exchange rate. This would be thirteen hundred dollars. I bet that's not bad. So look at read. Did you read this? I mean, you can't tell from the picture, but it says you can. It's got a pedal that you use to adjust the distance mm -hmm. from the ladder. You don't use that. yes. So that's kind of nice. Curious about rattliness. Um, I don't know if you saw this. They had this on the chair too. Element. Yeah, it's so there's frame welding, so there's no shake, even if the instrument has been used for many years. Try using it in a constant condition for a longer time. I this is a beautiful like as I stare at my own barrel. This is I mean, but <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> Damn barrel. Um, so looking at it, what what I first noticed, and again, this is all proportional, and I will, do not know. We'll have to look at the dimensions, but the barrel component, like the whole ladder barrel component, like just the back, the I guess the back half, the barrel, it looks narrower than mine. And so I'd actually imagine the fun things, like I kind of think horseback on the ladder barrel is the only acceptable place to do horseback. Like I imagine that might be more attainable for more petite people. Like, so I'm 5'4", and trying horseback on my, like, it's not the easiest, right? Like. I would imagine. I have really long legs, so <laughs> it's no problem for me. Yeah. I, th what I see, this to me, and you know, we don't have any idea how tall this model is. But you know, classical ladder barrels are a bit smaller than contem most contemporary ones, and so I would imagine that this. Now this, I learn this fact. This learn this looks <laughs> smaller than a contemporary barrel to me, both in radius and in um, maybe in height. But de and then yeah, the and width. So it does look like um, you know. It's a little bit more. It looks. 
it looks smaller, mm -hmm. but not in a negative. Like it just looks, I think again, that might be all the same color though. Like it looks less imposing. Like, you know what I mean? Like you're like, oh, this doesn't. I find it really interesting that the, they have three colors, but the only marketing photos they have are the pink color. Millennial pink, it's a moment. It's a zeitgeist. Okay, um, this looks very barrel typical. I mean, I don't, look, someone doing horseback, maybe. So like, I'm like, I see lift, I don't know. Um, I don't think there's anything really revolutionary here. I think it's interesting they did the pedal. I think it's wonderful they did the, the padded rungs and they added more rungs. Although be, I don't have a lot of experience on a ladder barrel because I've, I don't, I've never worked in a studio that had one. Well, they're, well, the one, they're giant, um, two, they're kind of, they're into, I like them. I also don't have a lot of experience, which is why when I saw mine on Craigslist, I was like, yes, come to me. Um, because like the studio I trained at, we only had two ladder barrels at two different locations. They're both like 20 minutes away from me. And it was, it was just like a hassle. You know what I mean? Like, and I think the ladder barrel might get overlooked more often than it should just because of the real estate it takes up which is understandable right but i don't you know it's really like the things i've been doing on my ladder barrel with um my private instructor because yes a lot of these instructors have instructors um i mean they're it's tough like ladder barrel is like not just stretching um and I have actually been thinking about wrapping hockey tape around my rungs, so I'll keep you updated. Get some like pipe in, pipe insulation. Now and then wrap. Ooh, see now you're now you're cooking with gas. All right. So how tall? Let me. So they don't give the dimensions for the back half of the barrel, unfortunately. So. So it's thirty-seven inches tall to the top of the rung. It I feel is, like that's that's already smaller than mine. It's 28 inches wide. It's, uh, as I pull up my ladder barrel dimensions. I'm so I'm I think it's I mean, am I wrong? Do you know the ladder barrel dimensions off the top of your head for like some Okay, here we go. All right. Sure. All right, so what was the height of the, what was their ladder height? 37, you said? Uh, 37 and a half. Okay, so yeah, so the ladder barrel, I'm just gonna, for the ease of, like, so the ladder barrel I have, the ladder height is 38, the barrel height is 35. What was the length, what was, can you go back to the specs, sorry. So this, is a little shorter than so my ladder barrel is um 120 centimeters so 1120 millimeters if i math that one correctly um long so this one just is a little overall oh and then it, what was the width so overall it's just width is actually the same but overall it's a little shorter it, I, I would, yeah, I mean, it's barely different, though. It, it's very subtle. I mean, a lot of people will pick about, pick on half inch or inch differences, but um, I think that is a really hard thing to get stuck on with Pilates equipment because you put someone on who's the same height, but their arms might be an inch longer than someone else's. Yeah. So that totally changes the whole feel of it. So I really get really t I really don't like it when people get stuck on one inch or less difference in Pilates equipment because our bodies vary so much and our it's not even our height or our weight it's our proportions so it's true so I I would say this is actually really comparable I was expecting there to be bigger differences you know honestly I would buy it heck yeah like like I mean I would I would buy it I'm, I'm intrigued by it. Like someone, like, 
someone just buy this for me and ship it to my house. You can <laughs> message me my address. Please don't murder me in my sleep. Um, okay, so wait, wait, what are we, we okay, so there's two, I think there's two items that are, the last two are very controversial for me. Um, do you want to be like, I mean, the cattle, let's, let's, let's go with the, let's do the Cadillac next. We'll finish with the springboard. <laughs> okay. So to me, it looks unstable. Like, you, and I don't know if this is just my wall tower, like knowledge, but I feel like you'd have to bolt this to the ground. I disagree i think this looks the frame looks exactly like a stock cadillac which are does it yeah okay it's fine. okay it it's skin it's got skinnier legs right than a wood cadillac or an aluminum cadillac so it it, it might look a little bit you know suspect but i i think it's so i'm sure it's probably fine yeah I would, I would actually say that there, there's probably even a little bit more beef in this see, than a stock. But. Maybe that's just the welding. I don't know. Uh, it I looks. Think, if they weld all of this, I really want to know what, what material. How does this get shit? Of, if it's aluminum, or. Steel. You know what? I I bought a really cool looking shoe rack, and it actually reminds me. <laughs> I'll send you the link. It reminds me of this design, like a little. Um, so I imagine there are actually like some things you might have to assemble yourself because I mean, how is it? I'm trying to think about like, how else are they going to get this? What do you yeah. Not, of course they have to assemble some of it themselves. Yeah. I'm sure that these slide in and out. I'd be curious to see how far down these tubes go into this leg. I'd be really curious. I think that's going to give you a lot more stability. It's going to change the stability of, of the canopy yeah. to an extent. Uh, okay, so it seems pretty standard. I want, it looks like there are three holes here for this pivot point, although these three holes look super close together. Like it makes no difference. I mean, honestly, unless you have a newer designed, like, trap table or tower like I mean it's a little hard for me to say right now but I feel like I would never unless I had the kind that like you know like the slidey locky ones I would like I don't touch mine I'm just like yeah middle level's good <laughs> oh I used to adjust mine all the time in sessions like if it would hit people's um face like by well, okay. them in a specific spot and yeah then, right it swung and it was so awkward because it would take me at least 90 seconds and I'd be kind of yeah. clean and they'd be laying there looking at me like, are you okay? And I'm like, yes, I know it looks weird, but I do this all the time. But li really like, it's awkward. I've definitely met someone who had a jammed push through bar for seven years and never used it because she didn't know how to fix it. And, and remember that, that, you know, I think that's kind of, that's very extreme, but I think that's indicative of how remember that we yeah to use our equipment and it's adjustable. so that one time when you and i were like at that studio and we couldn't get the t-pin out like I went, like you were, i mean it was our first like you my first like official day on the job but like you were i mean y these things happen oh 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 <laughs> sorry i got distracted look at how how those it oh I like that. I you don't even know what I'm talking I about. Like you can't sliders. see sliders. I like the sliders. I like that the um it's pretty elegant. There's not so many set screws <laughs> to fumble with. I like that's that's nice looking. Yeah, I'm into that. I'm sold. Sold. <laughs> Allison's like, take my money. Take my money. I don't, look, I do not need another piece of equipment. Like, I'm at the point where I'm like, need to open a museum. I need to open a showroom. Um, but, okay, look, guys, I just have a chair, a reformer with a tower unit, and a barrel. And then I found this really sweet deal. Tower. Oh, yeah, ladder, ladder barrel. barrel. Ladder. not just a, and then an arc light um yeah. 
like if I had room, so the, I, I just want to hang off of a Cadillac. Like, I think I miss that the most. Like, I don't even, like, not even, like, using it. Please don't come after me, Pilates industry, but just, like, hanging off the side of it, just for funsies. I miss that. It's an adult jungle gym. Yeah. It could be used to explore. So, so this, this is really interesting. You see this little added foot strap across here? Yes. That's really interesting. Praise the Lord. Like, Remember, because I hate this, this strap right here. Hate that strap. Wait, is that the same strap? No. What are we looking at? No, wait, what are we looking at? Right? What is, I've never used that strap in my life. I have. Like, I definitely have, but it is a pain in the butt to adjust. Oh, especially on like convertible units, like reformer. <laughs> Why would you do that? Okay. Um, Hmm. Okay. Okay. I hope people love our YouTube video. Like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, okay. So I would, I would use, I mean, like, I would use it. I don't, Part of me wonders, though, if this will not age very well. <laughs> like, not, <laughs> let me rephrase, like, not from use age very well, but, like, if in, like, five years, you're gonna be, like, ugh, this color, and then you're gonna have to take, like, your can of spray paint and just, like, go for it. <laughs> well, that's the thing, right? Like, how, you have to think about who's buying it, right? If this is only home use, going out of style in five years probably isn't a huge deal because typically yeah. people don't keep home equipment that long. I don't feel like this is home use though. I feel like this is studio use and the, I could be pink, wrong. Pink is a very trendy color which could easily go out of style. Yeah. But I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I, you're the style person. I don't know anything about style. Some things go out of style and come back in the spot you know it's just like it's vintage now uh yeah this is this, I mean it excites me in some ways but I feel like the reformer is the most exciting but let's get to the I'm like I'm like let's move on to this springboard <laughs> sorry I don't like it this is only 25 inches wide 24 and a half inches wide but isn't that how wide most other I feel like Cadillacs have like a a width. So the the springboard to me is like so ace. I know I'm just like springboard. It's so like asynchronous with all the design. Like it, and then the, I think it's a mirrored back. Yeah. I think. Okay. Wait. Mirror, I think the mirror part is very clever. I think the grid part takes away from this experience a lot. The, the grid is disconcerting. I keep trying, can you scroll up again? I keep trying, I'm like touching my screen, like scroll up. So what does it say? So it can be used as a mirror by attaching a stainless steel mirror material on the front. So, oh wait, wait, and so I'm confused. So does this come with a mirror or does it not come with a mirror? So by saying, or are they just commenting on the, I think it just comes with a mirror. I like, this is the only thing in this line actually that has wood. Yeah. I mean, there's, I mean, it's That's true. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure about the mirror part of it. I, can you imagine someone losing, like, control of their spring and then it flying back into the mirror and then, like, busting the mirror? Like, am I the only one who can that, see that? That, that sounds dangerous. But, I mean, we all, to be honest, like, we've seen that situation could come up in a lot of places, right? Yeah. A lot of people have mirrors between their springboards or it's at a ballet bar. <laughs> Although you, you use TheraBands, usually not springs, but. So you know. one thing I'm noticing, so it has a push through bar, I think. I don't see them on here. What is this metal bracket? There. So, okay, so go to more to the side of the springboard. Uh, so just pick one side of a spring of the springboard from that picture. Yeah, that. Oh. 
Um, what is that? It looks like it attaches to like a roll down bar. Maybe it is a maybe it is a straight arm and not a spring. It looks to me like it's a spring, but that's a good question. We need more pictures. Yeah, so you're talking about this thing right here. Yeah. Does that see this looks like I mean it's fine. It's springs attached to a dowel, right? So I wonder if that's like an option of putting a bar on it, maybe. I don't know. This just doesn't excite me as much as the other stuff. Like it's fine. I think the mirror is I like kind of like the arbiter. I don't no. know if it's it's the it's the grid. It's the grid kills it for me. I don't think there's a push. It says it's a stainless super mirror. Well, what is that? You, I mean, what is that component then? I just think it's another hook. Hmm. Interesting. Huh. May, yeah, I don't know. It's. I wonder if you could put a ballet. Ball yeah, we don't. We'll, we will never yeah. probably. So that's what I'm thinking, like a ballet bar attachment. Without damaging the, without having to screw in to the wood. I, I personally don't care for ballet bar attachments on springboards because this, they, they can get in the way do you like bar? You look like you're thinking about it. Uh, they do get in the way. No. They no. Um, <laughs> they do get in the way of a lot of repertoire that I had taught for years, and then I taught at a studio that had the ballet bar across the middle of the springboard, and it did get in the way. Um, it would be so easy to just make one you could loop in there, or like set kind of hook in, right? Like those pegboard things. Yeah, and then like yeah, take it out or whatever. Some of the time, you know, you want to do roll downs and that the springs rub on it. But, you know, that's just my teaching style, right? If I had been there longer, right? We all adapt to what equipment we have, right? Yeah, I mean, we, we adapt. We adapt, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we, so we adapt. I want to wrap this up. Yeah. And I want to know, well, first of all, I want to scroll through the, um, the making of video just for funsies. Yes. Maybe I'll have some commentary on. Uh, I actually. Processes. I feel like I've learned literally nothing about how this sauce is made, but it's kind of <laughs> cool to watch. <laughs> it's like a marketing video. <laughs> revolutionary in there but yeah again learning learn literally uh, nothing yeah, i'd like a behind the scenes oh, you you like behind the scenes the, so i i feel i, I want to see so that article so i think that was a pre, like the article i sent you i think was a presser like an american or like an english press release for this company which is cool um and i feel like the article revealed some different things um 
as like I'm like scrolling back in my history with you I'm like cat pictures yes okay <laughs> all right so I don't know anything about the this original publication it was on the Yanko design or whatever um so they say so I think the grid might be there because of, you know, we learn like that posture grid or whatever, like when you're like the alignment, whatever, the standing alignment assessment. I'm going to guess that that might be why that's there. Um, yeah, so this press release says the barrel ladder comes with silicone tubing on the rods to prevent any foot pain. Uh, oh, oh, the mirror is made of stainless steel with a high gloss mirror finish on it. So the mirror can't be, whoa, that's a lot of reformer. I think this is definitely professional use. Yes. Well, I mean, look at all the, yes, I think you're right. Like, this is, this is 100% like that was a, that was a steal. Like, I know what I'm looking at. I'm a certified Pilates instructor. That's a studio. <laughs> um, I'd use it like if if I if I fit widthwise on this equipment. So oh, going back, that's the only area where I think inches do matter is the width of the carriage. Um, but if I fit if I fit physically on this equipment, I would I would use it. I would actually I'm already into the ladder barrel. Yeah. I don't know. What are you, I mean, so I want to be clear. What are your thoughts? Like, I, I talk a lot. Inches. I'm not talking. I agree with you that inches matter. What, what I don't agree with is that the relative difference of a half an inch totally. Oh. You know, the, oh, in a, yeah, in a care, like that, that if the rise yeah. of height difference I, of one inch for you versus for me is going to change the exercise. No, because our arms are different lengths. So you, you can't change, you can't say one yeah. size or height is better because we have different arm lengths. Does that make sense? Or different leg lengths. Yeah. Like that's, that sort yeah. Of Dimensions do matter, but when you're picking on something for a small thing like that, when you see a broad range of bodies in your studio, it's stupid. Okay, sorry. Go back yeah. to what, what were you asking me? No, I agree. Uh, so what are you, like, looking at this, like, kind of, where are you, where are you at? I, um, like, I what, I mean, it. I, I would be curious to know what it costs to get other Pilates equipment in Korea, just because, uh, I, I want to know how this compares, right? Like, $2,500 to us might seem like, hey, that's pretty awesome, but a balanced body reformer to them might even be more than that because of import duties and taxes and all that stuff. So, like, so I don't yeah, know how, um, how really does BB cares. Do they have a Korean, do you know if BB has like a distributor, like a Korean or like an Asian? I mean, they, I think they do, like in Asia branch. Yeah, I don't, I don't know the most, I don't know who they have over there, how they sell there. Yeah. Um, I don't have any yeah, I, I think you, I think it is available, but I, I'd be really interested in hearing from Korean Pilates teachers, uh, and like American Pilates teachers who go to Korea, uh, to do continuing education. Like, I'm, I'm very curious, um, would like about that whole like I would like the to know thing if it's noisy right are these is this sheet metal really thin so does it crinkle does do things echo along the frame does it then um, i'd like to know if it's heavy oh uh, you know that's that's actually so i think the noise factor actually so kind of the um 
I think if people like, this is like really a conversation for like an acoustic engineer or whatever. Um, but I, sound changes, right. Based on the materials in a room. So like a rug doesn't just look nice. Like it's kind of like dampening some like twinkle toe action from people who stomp. Um, and also like voices. So I'm actually, so I'm actually curious about how, say, a wood reformer would have, so if sound is coming from vibration, right, how would a, like, how do the different materials react to the sound um, is well, something I'm, I'm really curious about knowing. Yeah, you can think about how wheels sound on the rails in an Allegro versus an Allegro 2 versus a Stott B2 Max, right? There are a whole bunch of factors that go yeah. into that, but in general, things are going to echo a little bit more on a metal frame than on a wood frame. And that's just because, like you're saying, the rug on the floor, right? The wood is kind of a natural, more natural rug, whereas <laughs> metal just kind of reverberates. Things reverberate. And when you have extrusions that are certain shapes, yeah. they kind of get caught. Sound can get caught in there. Um, I would be, I really want to feel this because I think it looks good, but I think you have a, for the way this looks, you have an expectation of how it should feel in your hands and under your body. And I'm really curious if that meets, if it meets those expectations. Um, I think that what you're saying is that we are going on a field trip to South Korea. I wholeheartedly support this i am very excited um as soon as other countries will have americans again like i'm i'm on the plane with you great you and me we're gonna fit in it's gonna be great <laughs> great 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 oh any last thoughts on this i just want what you i want like i i want i so I look at it and I get, I like genuinely want to try it. And I, I would buy it, you know, like looking at it, I'm like, I could buy this. Also, I think that little, I don't know if you can, so if you look at the foot bar in this photo, the black reformer, I think this might be one of the only angles we've seen is, and then you go straight down to that little lever. I think that's how the foot bar adjusts. Oh, See it? Yeah. Are there any videos, like, if you go to the support section? I wonder if there are. there any videos of people I'm going to look. I wonder if the foot bar locks into place. So if you pull on it, it doesn't move. It doesn't come unlocked. Yes. I want, I want visual guides. Maybe it's in the magazine. I don't know. Like, this website, it's not going to translate anything, is it? <laughs> Oh. Um, oh, they have an Instagram page. Yes, let's click it. Instagram will give us the knowledge. Sick. Okay. Hello. Oh, they have a they have a lot of posts. I think we're gonna learn. We're gonna do some learning right now. Okay. I open up Instagram to follow them. I like the sounds. Makes my little engineer heart happy. Okay. Ooh, this is an Instagram live. You hear this? Yes. I'd go to this. I'm already getting like studio vibes. Like I'm like envisioning that space and like I'm there. Make it bigger. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Oh, girl. They have a they have a detailed shot of their shoulder blocks. Okay.
I like this. I'm gonna have to edit this whole video. This conversation is way too long. I know people like people are gonna probably like cross go cross eyed. Have two hours yeah. of time. Whatever. Well, well, manageable chunks. I like their clock on the wall, by the way. Okay. <laughs> you gotta. Okay, so there's a picture, and this is of interest to you. I'm actually going to just share it with you, or share it to you. Um, and it's of their shoulder box. God, hey. And it's like, it's like a gut shot. A gut shot? Okay. I'm scrolling down. A gut, I just, I literally just shent it. Shent it. Shent it <laughs> I shent it to you. <laughs> keep, keep growing. You'll know when you see it. Half tower. Half tower. Oh, uh, hello. Okay. Oh, there's a jump board installed. This, I, I'd use this. I don't, I don't know. All right, so keep scrolling. You'll know when you see it. I'm scrolling. Oh, there it is. There it is. Yes, queen. Yeah, so it looks like they're removable. Oh, this is interesting. These rhinos this, have some sort of spring. I've only seen this once, but this reminds me of the um, Stott shoulder blocks. Mm -hmm. I, mean, it's basically, I think this is what it was like. It's basically the Allegro 2 shoulder blocks as well. Stott, yes. Allegro 2, both look like this. But the Stott ones have the square receiver yeah oh they have a showroom they have a show they have a showroom how do you know this I, i'm on their instagram i found the page <laughs> i found their like 3d printed to life equipment it's adorable oh, i if those are cute I really want to see like video, you know what I mean? Like video of like how. Someone using it? Yeah, like I know it, it's got to exist. Did someone retweet it, reposted something. Nine Yuri, Nine Yuri. Can you go to her page? Oh yeah, here, I, I got you. Oh, wait, I think this might be her, because I think this is Pilates. Yes. Oh, she's got, oh, this is a really cute, gosh, cute account. So this actually, I think, so here's a Graz reformer. I, I'm like curious about who distributes what in Korea. So I think she was just at the, I think she was just at the showroom trying it out. Um, I'm, I'm into this, like, look at her cute little pet. Oh, she's got a kitty. Oh, look, you get pedicures, Kayleen. Do you remember the before times? Oh, look at the cat. Oh, look at the cat. Oh, the cat. Oh, look at that little dog. Is that dog? Oh, that's a little Pomeranian. Is that a real? So I would actually love, I, w I really would love to see these in action. They have some stories, actually, that are some saved stories. Oh, we're trying. Oh, it is the shit is the foot bar. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. So that little lever does adjust the foot bar. Where did you find this information? So so click on Fawn V Reformer. It's the last bubble on the right. Yeah, just click that. All right. Hey. Look. You're so smart. Oh, there's a really interesting. Rev oh. Revolutionary. Really interesting mechanism right here. Oh. So 
interesting. I really, I would try it. Lentil peas. Oh, I messed it up. I feel like messaging them and being like, hey, are you guys going to be at the PMA conference the next time there's one on a, you know, like, so this is, this is for their studio. Yeah, I, I think, yeah, I mean, I think you and I could have a fun girls trip in Korea. Definitely. <laughs> I, like, I like how I'm just volunteering you. I'm like, we're going to Korea. Oh, I, those, I'm, I'm down. I'm with you though. I want some videos. Yeah, I. We're gonna have to like seriously edit this like real YouTubers. <laughs> You're gonna have to start editing audio. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm. I'm actually kind of bummed. There's not more. I'm bummed. There's not more video. Um. That's the only thing I could have done with more of. I like that now there's a tower reformer. Yeah, did you see the RTC? Yeah. Oh, wait, no. Oh, oh, Keform. There we go. Keform. I just picked up on Cad Cadillac reform because more I I'm a little slow. Um, this is pretty cool. Designs. Worksheets. I like worksheets. I don't know what this is for. It has a lot of comments. These frames. I'm just sending them a DM. I'm like, I love your design. Do you plan on attending the Pilates Method Alliance conference the next time it is held? <laughs> Why not? All right. Yeah. Oh, a little engineering drawings. Makes me so happy. <laughs> well, oh, I'm, yeah. Jump is it a video? No. This looks like the A2. Yep. Am I allowed to say that? Yeah. yeah. It looks like the A2. Please don't see them. <laughs> I like that's how my like, please don't see. Them. Um, I like it. Yeah. So. Oh, wait, there's a video of someone on the reformer. Oh, where was it? Nuts. It was like, it was on the left most call there. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Is that it? I can't make it any bigger. That's okay. Oh, look at that jump board flex. It's pretty normal. Yeah, I mean, it, it, yeah. Okay. And did you notice also they have no metal clips, right? It's all rope, rope to rope right here. And the loops, loops to ropes. Rope to rope. Yep. Anyway. Smart. That, I mean, can, can you imagine that clanging again? though like can you like imagine that like a clip hitting the frame of the reformer yeah. i would be driven to distraction by that so it's probably smart that it's rope to rope Happy yeah to all right well yeah well yeah it was fun Allison. this is yeah thank you for i know I feel like i into this discussion with me uh and bringing this to my attention um it's not very often you get to like review brand new Pilates equipment. Thank you. Yeah, like I would, I, I don't, I feel like looking at it, it makes me feel very positive feelings. Yeah. Yeah. We don't go, you don't go, oh, more of the same. Yeah. Yeah. 
yeah. oh wood that looks exactly like this other you know like like so many yeah i mean but again how much room for innovation is there i and i think that's and i'm not saying that like negatively that carriage looks very soft i don't know what this is yeah that's is that the <gasps> maybe to remove the shoulder blocks Does that make sense? Could. I think it's to remove the shoulder blocks. Is there one on the other side? No. I don't know. I can't tell. Is I don't know. There, you can see they're highlighting things. I just, I can't read Korean. Like features. Um, maybe if I like run it through, <laughs> maybe if I hold it, run it through the Google Translate camera and I like hold my phone up. Um, yeah, I, I think, I think we will have wowed and entertained the masses with this. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's like an unboxing for COVID times. This is unboxing Nirvana for Pilates nerds in coronavirus. Yes. I know this is I, I mean I don't think that we would have had an opportunity to do this if it weren't the COVID times what day is it it's Tuesday I guess I wouldn't have been teaching normally so maybe maybe but I probably would have like don't talk to me it's my day off <laughs> yeah well this was exciting thank you so much for joining for I guess for agreeing to my kooky idea of course. Thank you for bringing it up. This was fun.